guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome i don't know what i look like so if i look a hot ass mess we're just gonna pretend that i don't um so this is gonna be a different video today i'm going to be talking about like my crystals and my spirituality and all of that stuff because so many people always ask me on snapchat um, so if you're not following me on Snapchat, make sure you are. It's Jamie with eight eyes. I feel like crystals, they do different things for different people. But personally, myself, I use them for healing. So this is rose quartz. So rose quartz is for self-love, unconditional love, attracting love, all forms of love. It just helps you to, you know, to have, to be more compassionate and to love. And so I like this one because it's like, self-love was something that I struggled with and like self-confidence and it's something that I'm still working on and so it's like this crystal just holding it or keeping it near me it makes you it doesn't directly make you like you know hold a gun to your head like like you better love yourself or get knocked out kind of thing no it just like opens your eyes so that you can be more receptive to love and realize what you need to work on as far as love you know since that's what this one is for it's like when i started to um to keep rose quartz with me or meditate with rose quartz it's like then i would see it's like it, it like reflected back to me what i needed to change you know and it's like when i before, up until i had rose quartz like i didn't even know that self-love was something that i needed to work on because it's like you set the tone for all your relationships so it's like if you don't have that unconditional self-love for yourself you can't expect other people to have that for you either like, it reinforces that self-love so i'm exuding that love all the time and when i deal with people it's like i'm always coming from a place of love because i'm great cuss people out every single day you know and yes it can help you to attract a romantic partner if that's what you're seeking you know um, but it starts with you first you know you cannot you will attract what you are so if you don't love yourself and you are not right within you're going to attract such so that's why it's so important to work on yourself first so then you like you know the more you work on yourself and the more you become whole you'll attract somebody that reflects such I what I really use in, uh, crystals when I use them is I meditate with them all the time like I will put them like I lay down and I'll put them all on my chakras my root sacral solar plexus um heart throat third eye and crown like i'll put them all on my um, chakras and i'll do a meditation and it's like through crystals and meditation it's helped me to realize so much stuff about myself and it's helped me to deal with so much stuff that i needed to deal with like this year has been incredible for me like as far as healing like more recent something that crystals have helped me to deal with is integrity you know just if you say you're gonna do something then do it you know and just like any character flaws within myself they've helped me to recognize those things about me and to become just a better more whole person you know and it's like they help me to self-reflect and see all the things within myself that I needed to change like it's like we I feel like we see ourselves as one way and like we see ourselves as we want to be not as how we really are for the most part i try to meditate every day that's not realistic all the time because there's sometimes different times of the month where my i'm just like you know what? i'm not feeling this you know and i'm just like it's just like no but overall i do try to meditate in the morning you know i have my morning routine where um i will light my palo santos and sage so sage these are both um used to clear out negative energy Palo Santos has like a more sweet smell. It smells really good. If you've ever smelled sage, it kind of smells like dirty weed, you know? Um, but I like the way it smells. This is like really strong and it like clears out any negative energy. So this is how they explain it to me. <laughs> Palo Santos is more like asking the negative energy to leave versus sage is like telling the negative energy to leave. So like um, I like to sage myself down. I'll just light it and sage myself before I'm leaving to clear out any negative energy that may be on me, you know. If I just feel like some heavy negative energy on me, I like to cleanse myself before I do, like, you know, start my day. I cleanse my crystals. I try not to do it too often because it's like I, um, I'm focusing on, like, sinking my energy into the crystals so that they can help to work with me better, you know. 
because it's like if my energy is in the crystals and it's like they're connected to me and then they can help me to evolve and then deal with whatever I need to deal with. <clears throat> um, and I do wear a lot of jewelry. Um, like here's a term black tourmaline. This is like a necklace that I like to wear. Black tourmaline is good for um, protection. It removes all negative energy. And so I like to wear it because it's closest to my heart space. So it'll absorb any negative energy that I may attract or I may be holding on myself throughout the day. And it'll just like absorb it all out. So it's like it like, like sucks all the negative energy out of me is what I like to say. But um, this is one that you have to cleanse often. So at the end of the day, when um, I take it off and I'll set it on my selenite because selenite is another crystal that's self-cleansing um, and so this will kind of cleanse it from all the negative energy that have, that was on me throughout the day and like I like to keep them on me like I have some in my pocket right now if I don't have them in jewelry form so like say let's see the ones that I have on me I'll tell you why I have them on me <clears throat> um, this is rhodochrosite. This is for like self-love um, and just having that unconditional love for yourself and those around you. That's why I like this one. It's like I said, I'm working on self-love and just having that unconditional self-love for myself and just like, you know, being comfortable in myself and not being afraid to express myself and completely be me. Because it's like we try to put up this like facade and try to be something that not necessarily be something that we're not, but we just try to hide parts of ourselves. So it's like I like to wear this so it just reinforces me to just completely be me like no filter you know of course I have to be professional and there's a time and place for everything but it's just like being able to be yourself is so liberating and not wanting to be anybody else it's like we are so unique individually and nobody is like you and it's like once you embrace that it's like such a beautiful thing and <laughs> this is black tourmaline so it's the same one that I just showed you guys in the necklace to absorb all the negative energy and for protection this is um Dalmatian Jasper and this is like to have like a playful like um attitude you know and not be so serious because I feel like I could be like that serious judge Judy ass like you know so it's like I like to keep that on me just to be like enjoy life like stop taking it so serious I feel like I can be so serious sometimes and this is blue agate this is for your throat chakra um I like to wear this on me so I'm able to speak my truth because sometimes I feel like um I don't always speak up for myself and speak directly from my heart. Because when you speak directly from your heart, you're always you're always going to be coming from a place of love. And this is Mangano Calcite. This is like that unconditional love as well. Like love is like my that's like the thing, like you know, just coming from love. But I feel like when you operate in a place of love, whether it's doing what you love, being in love or being around people you love like you it's just like a high vibration you know so it's like I just want to always operate from that place of love whether what no matter what kind of form of love it is I want to do that every full moon and new moon during the full moon it's all about releasing releasing what no longer serves you releasing old patterns old waves old behaviors old people release it's just all about release so um what me and my sister do is when we do the full moon release, it's um, we write down everything we want to release and you burn it with the intention to let it go, let it go. And I'm telling you, you won't start to see stuff really dissipate like out of your life. Like, you literally, it's crazy how it works. Like we're probably like um, almost a week in on this full moon release and it's crazy how much, how much stuff I release since the full moon. And it's like I can still feel like that energy just lingering on like it's a process like I, man because once you overcome that and you release it you feel renewed and restored and um for the new moon that one it's all about um manifesting your intention so whatever it is you want it's like and there's this girl I follow on Twitter her name is Mystic Lipstick and um, she posts on Twitter these different clauses that you can write down to help you manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest but you have to do it in a new in a new journal and it, the journal has to be specifically for that. I do, I do oracle cards. I have these like da daily guidance from my from your angels. I have these lesson cards and I also have a, a deck of tarot cards. Um, the tarot cards I'm still learning, it's just, 
I don't know it's tricky with the tarot cards and it's like I feel like there's like a stigma behind tarot cards like if you do if you mess with them then you're like a witch and all this stuff and there's like a stigma behind witch I I'm not like I ain't no I'm not a devil worshiper you know I'm a nice person I'm not evil none of that so it's like <clears throat> It's like we've been programmed, I feel, to believe that all this stuff is negative, but it's actually not because it's like, I feel like since I've gotten into all this, my life has changed so much for the better. I feel so good inside since I've like changed my diet. Yes, even though I'm a vegetarian, I still don't eat the best because I got chips and salsa right here. So yeah, you know, but overall, like I my state of being, I feel so much better since I've made this lifestyle change. I feel like this journey has helped me to become not judgmental and then just come from love, you know, and realize that everybody has their own life path and you have to find your way and it's whatever works for you. I feel like the message is love. You know, as long as you're operating from love and you find that inner peace within, whatever allows you to find that inner peace, you gotta do that. And that's what I love about this journey because I used to be an ugly person inside. Like, you have no idea. Like, I used to just sit up and group text with my friends, just talking shit about people all day long. That's all you do. Screenshot and just talk about people. You know, and that was like literally a direct reflection of my inner. Like, it's like I was ugly inside and I was just not happy with myself. So it's like you reflect the outer because all I did was talk about people. And this has made me to like reflect on the inner. And I feel like I'm such a beautiful person now because my inner is beautiful. My yeah. Oh, and I did want to, some of the other, I'll show you guys some of the other pieces that I have too. And then I'll close out with the video because I don't want it to be too long. <clears throat> Um, so this is Red Tiger's Eye. I like to use this for like grounding. Um, this is Terminated Quartz. I like to use this for my intuition and my clairvoyance. It's like your psychic abilities. This is another Rose Quartz. I love Rose Quartz. This is Unikite and this is for your third eye and it's for unconditional love. This is Hematite. Um, this is for protection and grounding sorry this is peridot this is for letting go letting go of whatever doesn't serve you and this is turquoise and this is for friendship and then like sometimes i'll have all of them on but sometimes like i'll just wear whatever i feel drawn to that day but basically a pendulum is a crystal so this is a selenite crystal and as you see it has like um it has small crystals on the side of them it's basically an extension of your intuition so it will tell you what you already know it's not fortune telling it can't tell the future it helps you to just really trust that inner voice and that inner knowing because it's like we all get gut feeling like everybody know when they make a cheating you know you know like that just how you know when you make a cheating is the same thing that's your intuition you guys see i'm not gonna move my hand <clears throat> and i'm gonna ask it to show me yes so me know it's gonna move on its own show me yes Faster. 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 Stop. Show me now. So as you guys see, it was swinging back and forth for yes, and side to back and forth for no, and side to side to for yes. And so it's like I can ask it different questions. When I first got it, I used to ask it questions. Sometimes I'll use it if I'm um, pulling cards for myself and I just want clarity if the card is for me at that moment but um yeah if you guys enjoy this video i know it's completely different um outside of makeup but i do want to start adding other stuff to my channel that's why i did a vlog and i got another vlog coming hair review like you know i just want to show you guys more i want this i want to feel like a family you know and just give you guys a big hug but i thank you guys for your support and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video